Hello, today I will show you how to assign the Blitz report function to the users. Directly after installation, the Blitz report function is not in the navigation entries yet. So the idea of Blitz report is to have Blitz report available in all the navigation menus. And to do that, we would run a concurrent process called Blitz report update menu entries. So that program is in the system administrator responsibility and you can usually just run it with the default parameters like this. And when you run it with the defaults, it would add the Blitzy port function into all the navigation menus of all active responsibilities. Active responsibility means that you have at least one active user assigned to that responsibility. And it would also add the uh, old framework uh, function to all the navigation menus, which are pure HTML responsibilities. So in the old framework navigation, old framework responsibilities, you would have the old framework version of Blitzy port. And in the forms responsibilities, you would have the forms version. So let's see when we switch responsibility, if we see it meanwhile, the process usually runs quite quick. So let me switch to general ledger responsibility. Okay, so now we see here the Blitz report in the navigation menu, and we also see the Excel icon active on the top. Before it was grayed out directly after installation, because in order to be able to access the this Excel icon or to uh, access the Blitz report function, you would need to have the menu entry in your navigation. So we can run a finance report as a test. So here you see the status pending, now it's running. And after a few seconds, it should show us the data. Okay, so now it's complete. So it seems to be running. Yeah, so this is an example report. So that means now all the users have in all the navigation menus in any responsibility, they have the Blitz report function at the end of the navigation tree. And they can also access it from the uh, Excel icon here. By default, everyone has now the user access, which means they can run only the reports in from for which they have access rights in account login responsibility. For example, a general ledger user or a user in a general ledger responsibility can only run the finance reports and so on. And in order to give your developers, for example, higher access rights to Blitz report, there's a profile option called Blitz report access. And the different levels of the profile option, let me first show you the Profile option. Let's go to Profile System and System Administrator. And let's set it for our own user to a higher value than we currently have. We are logged in as his admin. Here you see the profile option name. So it's Blitz Report Access. And the default after installation is user on site level. User is the lowest level, and you have four different levels. User, users can only run reports for which they have assignments. That means they can only run the reports in, for which they have access rights in account responsibility, and they cannot modify the SQL query. User admins, they can run any of the reports, but they cannot modify the SQL query. And developers, they can modify the SQL queries and they can create new reports and so on but they have a limitation that they cannot modify the upload functionality. For the upload functionality, in order to maintain and create uploads, you would need to have the highest level system. These access levels or the profile option values, they are also explained in the developer guide. If you go here to our webpage and then the profile option section down here, you see the profile option name and the different levels explained. And the default, if you don't have it set, is that you cannot run any reports. I showed it a little bit later. This is also used to control the uh, the license usage. 
because everyone who has access to run a report would also the first time when they run a report, they would consume one of the available licenses. So you have here, let me show that on the Blitz report screen, if you have, ah, oh, I did not set a profile option for myself yet. So we cannot access the setup screen yet. Let me just, uh, do that. So we need to set the profile option for our own user to a higher level, Blitz report access, or this is admin. And I would set it for this is admin to the highest level system. And that means when we now, I think we need to switch responsibility once. And when we now access the Blitz report, we see the setup button here. And behind the setup button is a setup screen. And now we have full access. That means we could modify the SQL query and we could also modify the parameters or we can cr control the assignments. So the assignments control which user audience is allowed to run this report. So assignments can be done on, on different levels. Uh, site level, application level, and so on. Out of the box, we provide with the installation assignments on application level and on forms level. But you can uh, modify them uh, as per your requirements, or you can also add your own assignments. But I wanted to show the license usage. So directly after installation, the Blitz report has, is installing a test license key which is valid for three months for 10 users. And you can see the active users on this count here. And you can also double click. And right now, because I ran a report, we should have one, we should see the system administrator. This is admin being the only active user here on the list like this. So everyone who runs a report, who has access to run a report will automatic, automatically consume one of the available licenses. And if you would like to control that, for example, if you have thousands of users and but you only have a few hundred Blitz report licenses, then you might want to mm, control which users are allowed to run reports. And in order to do that, you could clear out the profile option setting for the Blitz report access from site level. And that would prevent users from running reports. Let me show how that would work. Uh, like this. Uh, we would also want to remove the setting for our own user. This is admin. So let me remove it completely. So if you if you have a very large user base and a limited number of Blitz report licenses, you would clear out the user level uh, user value from site level. And that would mean when you try to run a report, let me go to different responsibility now. You see now the Blitz report menu entry disappears from the navigation and you also have no longer the Blitz report icon available. So it's grayed out. So that way you would control which users are allowed to run reports. And these different, uh, settings they are explained also in the developer guide so there's a section about the profile option settings and then specifically about the security and the user profile so security in blitz report is on different levels so you can first control which users have which access rights that is the blitz report access profile option and then you have the control which users are allowed to run which reports and this controls through the assignments here that was the screen that I showed earlier. And then you can also uh, control which users within the report, which users have access to which data and so on. That is explained here. And then the different ways to make the user licenses available to your audio, uh, Blitz report users, that is explained in this section here, user license assignment. So the default directly after installation is that you have the Blitz report access profile option set to the value user on site level, which means it's automated license assignment. Everyone who runs a report, they consume one of the licenses and they would keep these licenses for at least 60 days. 
And but if you have, as I mentioned, if you have a very large user audience and a limited number of licenses, you might want to do the manual user license assignment. And then you would clear out the Blitz report access profile option from site level and assign it individually on user level. That was the quick introduction to the user license management in Blitz report. If you have more questions or need help with the configuration, please reach out and we can organize a call. Thanks for watching.